For cheap and reliable FIFA 17 Ultimate Team Guns on FIFA Point accounts, check out Gold. I'll leave a link in the description. Use code HABER to get yourself a discount. How's it going lads and welcome back to a brand new video. So today's video what I wanted to show you guys is my untradables club tour. Now if you guys don't know I'm pretty much addicted to two player packs. I've opened roughly a million coins worth of two player packs and that's literally I didn't really have much more than a million. I'm not like Castro have like 12 million then open a million and got like 11 million left. Like I've opened pretty much all my coins on untradable packs because I just love having untradable players and we are actually going to start this video off straight away with an untradable pack if the store wants to load up. The store has been really laggy today for some reason. A lot of people have experienced it. So, in our two-player pack in this video, we are going to get ourselves a small flare, unfortunately. It's going to be Seamus Coleman. That's not too bad. He's a BPL right-back. I've already got my go-to right-back in the BPL untradeable. It is Hector Bellerin. But we managed to get Seamus Coleman and Mauro Zarate. That isn't too bad. And my controller is actually turned off there as well. So, if you guys didn't know... I've got an unhealthy addiction to two-player packs. I open them pretty much all the time. If I've ever got coins in my club, I open them. At the minute, I'm literally shifting off like all my consumables so I can open more two-player packs. I used to have about 200 rare rare contracts, rare contracts, gold contracts, and now I don't. I, I pretty much sold them all off, including all my position modifiers and like everything. And for some reason, my controller keeps turning off as well. Give me one sec. So I've pretty much got like no consumables left that are worth that much at all. I pretty much sell all of them on, including like uh, all my fitness cards. I used to have 500 plus gold fitness cards. Sold like 100 of them. Uh, and I will be selling pretty much all my other fitness cards. I just list them up when I've got time. So I'm going to show you guys my untradable club tour. Now, I would like to think I've got one of the better untradable clubs. Someone that doesn't have like 5 million coins and spends like millions of coins on them. I'd say I've roughly spent about 800k to a million coins on them. So yeah, we go into the club first of all. We've got a load of loan players just from various different loan packs. And this isn't an untradable... Excuse me, this isn't an untradable player. This is just Oscar. Um, he's actually not too bad in this game. So... The first uh, of the untradable players, I should have, should have probably uh, searched gold. Um, the first of the untradable players you'll see straight away. We start off here with Larice. Um, I packed him quite a while ago. I've already played 92 games with him. He's absolutely terrible in this game. I hate him. But I feel like because he's an 88 rated walkout goalkeeper, I just feel like I have to use him in my BPL teams. I then have Oblak, who I've used once, who is actually not too bad. I've used Socrates uh, 12 times, who's not too bad as well. Then we've got the Inform 9 going in the last Wednesday. I've used 43 times. He's absolutely incredible in this game. Then I've got Vincent Company, who I, I packed recently as well, but he's actually really good as well. I do really like that card. Um, and then we've got Marchisio, who I packed recently, I've used 11 times. One of my new favourite uh, free kick takers, for one. His knuckleball free kick is absolutely mad. I've got Mkhitaryan, who's my first ever walkout, and it was in an untradable pack as well. Then we've got this cost card, who technically isn't tradable, but isn't a pack pool. Um... I actually managed to get that card uh, just from doing the SBCs. It cost me like 300k. So not including like the, the coins I've spent on squad challenges like uh, Sterling, etc, etc. Um, I've spent like a million coins on these uh, packs alone. I've got Willian here who's not bad at all. Um, I've used him 33 times. He's very good in game. I've got Mascherano. Shame it wouldn't Messi but you know we've got to deal with it. Then I packed this guy yesterday actually. Guiliano. The blue Guiliano. I packed him in a random two player pack. I was so happy. Um, he was my first one as well. Uh, so yeah, I was really happy about packing him. Then we've got the Sterling card, the first card that I've used to play 200 games. Um, we've got Sturridge, normal nine goal, and who's never going to get used again. I feel bad. I'm probably going to use him in a squad builder challenge, like one of those 84 rated ones you need. I'm probably going to use him there. Then we've got Wayne Rooney, who doesn't get too much game time because he's not brilliant in this game, to be honest. Um, then we've got David Villa, who also is he's okay. He's starting to play a lot better now, but he didn't really have the greatest start. Then we've got Nemanja Matic, who I love. He's my favourite centre mid in the like central centre mid or CDM in the game. Uh, Gareth Barry, who's played 59 games for me, who's actually a really sick card as well. Uh, we've got Son Kung Min Son. Um, his shot is the best on the game, but he doesn't have that much pace. It doesn't feel like anyway. He does not feel like AEA pace. Uh, we've got Mustafi here. Uh, Giovinco is like one of my new favourite cards. Um, Bye. He's got a red card as, as usual, but he usually gets red cards. Um, as you can see there, he's had three red cards and nine yellow cards. He's just always in the wars. Uh, but he's played 93 games for him. He's my favourite centre-back in the game. I love him. I've got Quadrado here, who's a decent player. Um, Butland, who also is playing shit for me right now. I'm not entirely sure what's happened to Butland recently, but he's just absolutely crap for me. Oh, and then we've got one more at the end. It's Morata, who I packed yesterday, who I haven't used yet, but I probably will get some use out of him. We've got Vasquez here, who I pretty much get every other freaking pack, so I'll just use him in the untradable packs, because who wants to use a cam with medium-high work rates and three-star, three-star? It's just no point. Um, 
Then we've got Komen, uh, uh, packed earlier. Then we've got Kante, who is my go-to centre mid. 194 games. He's incredible in this game. I love him to bits, and I'm so glad I got an untradeable version of him. Then we've got Fernandinho, who I use a lot in BPL squads. Then we've got Luke Shaw, who is my go-to left-back all the time. Absolutely love him to bits. 204 games for the club. Absolute monster. you got this guy that's played one game for me. He's Freaking shit. He's absolutely awful, so I don't use him at all. We've got Kurt Zuma, who I packed the other day, who I use fairly fairly a lot. Uh, then we've got Hector Bellerin, who's my go-to right-back, who is incredible in this game. I love him to bits, and I'm so happy that I've got him untradeable. Next stop is Kyle Walker untradeable. If I get an untradeable Kyle Walker, he will probably replace Bellerin, but I do love having Bellerin. Then we've got um, Renato Sanchez, who I've got an untradeable version of. I was actually really happy when I packed this, because back when I packed this untradeable Sanchez, he was going for like 35k, something like that, or like 30k. It was back when, I think, the wants to watch card was out so i was really happy or no it was just before the wants to watch card came out i think or just after i can't remember either way he was going for like 30k it was really good um I just got Zerati, who you saw me get earlier in the video. Um, and then we've got Olivas. So that's pretty much my tradable club. I'm really happy with the players I've got. At the minute, I don't keep players I don't need. So I just keep the players that I will end up using. And then chuck the rest in another untradable squabber challenge. So I can see if I can get myself another sick card. And I keep rotating them just like that. Uh, and as you see, the only players I've got here are the players from my squad that I'll show you uh, actually now. I'll show you the fun squad that I've been using. I've only used it for one game so far. But I thought it was a pretty cool squad. Uh, this squad here. And then uh, if I show you as well, my weekend league squad right now is uh, this one, I believe. This is going to be my weekend league squad, lads. Um, it's a pretty sick squad. I'm going to stick like uh, I'm going to stick like Costa on the bench as well. Uh, and I'm going to stick that Guiliano on the bench probably. I'm going to stick a few other players on the bench. But at the minute, this is my weekend league squad. Um, I might swap out players if I need to. Like I might stick Bai on my bench. And then if I need to, I can swap them out for, uh, for uh, Zuma. Or I need to swap out company for Zuma or company for Bonner. But at the minute, it's a pretty sick squad. And I'm very, very happy with it. Uh, and I'm happy to say that everyone apart from... Um, apart from El Shawarway, who I got for 700 coins, um, Ogbonny, who's 950, and Deshiglo, who's 500. Apart from them three, everyone is untradeable, and I'm very happy to say that. So, if you guys did enjoy this video, leave a like down below. Subscribe, guys, on around here. Thank you all for your epic support recently. We're closing in on 12,000 subscribers, which is just absolutely mad. So, thank you all for that, and I'll see you later.